Hello fellow collectors and welcome back to my channel. September is here, back to school, back to 16K figure unboxing videos. Again, this new season, MF Collectibles will try to be with you with a new video every week. A new 16K, one for scale, I don't know everything, it's gonna be on table, figure unboxing videos. We start the season with the Hell Dominator from Flashpoint and if Flashpoint had a legal license, this figure would be named Spawn. I give my respects my respect to Spawn. Spawn is an alternative underground hero. He came out of the imagination of the creator and founder of McFarlane Toys. He made so many comics. Spawn has one movie. Uh, Spawn is a Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat hero. Um, and there are so many exclusive spawn collectors in the world and uh, some of them have told me that this figure this is the best 16k figure for spawn even it is unlicensed uh, ever created in the world you can tell that already from the box which is one of the most beautiful boxes I have ever seen. This box is two pieces. It is the main part and the cap. On the cap we can see some very nice colors with spawn, with a figure, with a picture of the figure uh, in high glossy shiny effects. All the box is matte color. Uh, the colors are amazing. Hell Dominator at the front, flash point at uh, the top and at the back there are some nice tribal uh, some nice tribal uh, drawings with uh, spawn, hell dominator and warning signs uh, it is an incredible box and uh, let's go and have a look to see what's inside this box I'm telling you now uh, if you are watching this video right now, don't miss the top 5 poses. Please do me this favor and don't miss this top 5 poses. Also, subscribe and like the video. It will help me a lot. Now, I'm going to do something that I'm not doing very often. I want to show you the zipper box. <laughs> yes, this zipper box is the most beautiful zipper box I have ever seen. Uh, even the quality of the boxes, it's, it's, the material is very very nice and uh, uh, the box like I told you is <laughs> a piece of art inside there are foam layers uh, yes I show you this, this box is it's amazing there are foam layers uh, protecting the figure, some instructions and uh, underneath the first foam layer there is another one and uh, I will show it to you right now it's another foam layer which is holding accessories and stand base now let's take everything out of the boxes and have a closer look let's start taking the accessories and as we do we will move to the figure and head sculpts in the end Starting with this very very simple plastic stand base. It is a square uh, piece of plastic and there are some strange things going on here but well, I don't know the reason. Uh, this is an extra piece where you have two pegs and you plug it there, I don't know why. And uh, it's just a plastic base, a plastic platform to put spawn on it nothing else but uh, it's better than, uh, than nothing and uh, the stand base has a shelf 
in the shelf you can store hands or the chain it, uh, the, because the figure it contains uh, a chain inside the dagger chain and uh, other uh, accessories look at uh, let's have a look at these hands which are great the figure is very nicely sculpted guys and very very beautiful it has so many die cast parts it's very heavy these are die cast on the hands uh, it's incredible how have they uh, combined the die cast and the plastic uh, it, it is amazing and i'm blown away when i saw the figure and uh, let's move uh, also you know the grip of the stand base very simple you just put it in this hole and uh, you install it like this and uh, there you go to tell to all, to all to my friends from Greece that uh, we can bring this figure uh, MF Collectibles can bring this figure to everyone in Greece and uh, just contact us and we can arrange a delivery to you now this is the chain uh, it is all die cast it is nicely made and movie accurate carry on with the accessories guys let's move to this nice gun it has the colors of spawn very nicely painted it is movie accurate this gun is plastic but it has an extra die cast part I will uh, show it uh, right after uh, very nice details it is fashionable the magazine is coming out and uh, now I'll show you this extra blade this is all die cast nicely painted very sharp at the edge be careful and uh, you install this at the back of the gun I will try I don't know how to to install uh, on the gun I know I'm sure that you will do it better than me and that you will do it in the end <laughs> and uh, but uh, this is how it looks like for sure you can do that better than me okay now it's time to see this amazing sword this is 200 grams I don't know 300 grams it's so heavy it's all die cast nicely painted very nice details washes on it uh, I don't know they have choose the, 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 the most heavy material <laughs> from metal uh, it's fantastic the handle is great with uh, nice uh, uh, wrapped uh, with nice uh, fabric I don't know uh, what it is and now we will move to the alternative second head sculpt which is crazy guys uh, it has the feeling of rotten burnt skin and they have done a great job painting it looks amazing every, every single corner of the head sculpt it looks fantastic the teeth the, the, the eyes are lighting up they has light effect you can screw these two screws you install the batteries inside and the head is lighted up I'm not going to do it but the, it has this function as well also uh, you install this uh, smoke it has some two it has two small holes at uh, the mouth at the edges of the mouth one right one left and you put I cannot do that as well I'm sure you can do that <laughs> better than me again and uh, yes you you can find the way and do it I have seen it it's it's possible to be done <laughs> but uh, yes you have this effect as well and when you light up the the head this light up as well now the words are 
very few about this fantastic cape. It's amazing, it's fully wired everywhere, this is the nice diecast details it has with the, the chain and the symbols of spawn. All these nerves, all these veins are wire, uh, only the cape weighs so much, it's so heavy, the material is great, it's looking fantastic, it has some weathering at the edges. Uh, again, I'm going to say and give you an advice. If you're watching this video, stay tuned to the top 5 poses. Because we will install the cape only for the top 5 poses. Now, we move to the figure. This is the best spawn figure in action figure in 1.6K. So, uh, I want to tell you that you don't need a stand base because that piece is amazing. The proportions are great, the head sculpt is amazing and the suit has a rubbery feeling that you need to touch it to understand what, uh, what I'm talking about and looks very, very, very strong. The fit this piece is all die cast and weights like one kilo uh, these fits are very nicely sculpted uh, that's why you don't need the stand base the figure can stand alone the nice great details on the suit are amazing uh, it hides all the joints only at the shoulder I will show you later that you can see some joints there um, there are nice details, another die cast part on uh, the leg there, down the leg another one and uh, all die cast, these, guy, these parts guys and um, also check the details on the suit that's amazing that's fantastic movie accurate the stitching is, is absolutely amazing <laughs> I haven't seen something like that in the past. Now, check this nice piece of armor on the hands and the head sculpt. There is a foul here. The eyes should be green. Every spawn collector knows that. Uh, but uh, yeah, if you can do, you can just add some color there. Uh, for me it's not a problem but for other people it is so overall the head sculpt is great is amazing I haven't seen something better than this these are the two pegs that where you install the cape like I told you there is a joint that it is a little bit visible here ah, but uh, when you put the cape you don't see anything and now guys we will not talk about articulation, it is the time, top 5 is coming, lay back, relax and enjoy.
That was my video. I hope you liked it. If you do, don't forget to show it to me. Subscribe and hit the notification button to help and support me create more videos. Thank you very much and I'll catch you at the next one.